Hi, I'm Matt the Beauty Shaper, and today I'll be discussing myostatin, the villain hormone. Myostatin is an important part in the complex regulation of muscle growth in people. This protein inhibits muscle production. When myostatin binds to certain receptors of the muscle cells, it starts a cascade of events that ultimately suppresses muscle growth. Myostatin expression can be influenced by different factors including genetic, hormonal, and environmental causes. Genetic mutations such as in the naturally occurring myostatin knockout in certain breeds of mice and cattle can result in muscle growth and hormones like testosterone can actually modify or control myostatin levels. In layman's terms, knocking out myostatin refers to the process that reduces or eliminates the activity of the protein called myostatin in the body. Myostatin is a natural protein that limits muscle growth, so basically when you knock it out, you essentially remove the barrier that normally keeps the muscles from growing too large and can lead to increased muscle mass and strength. Myostatin is involved in muscle wasting diseases like muscular dystrophy, making the reducing or eliminating of myostatin a potential therapeutic target for improving the quality of life of the people that are affected by it. Plus, age-related muscle loss such as sarcopenia could actually be reduced with stopping myostatin production in the body. There are actually myostatin blocking drugs in the market out there that can be used for muscle wasting disorders such as muscular dystrophy and other injuries. Presently there are clinical trials going on researching supplements as a source of reducing myostatin. Several other supplements have been studied and have been found to have the effect of reducing myostatin in the body when combined with regular exercise about three to four times a week. Some of the food that contain these supplements are regular cow's milk, whey protein, BCAA amino acids, creatine, and spirulina. According to a study on young athletes that weight lift regularly, cow's milk reduced myostatin when consumed right after exercise. There was a study on three groups of college-aged males that didn't exercise except for the study itself. They were given either 25 grams of whey protein isolate or 25 grams of maltodextrin or a placebo and all three groups showed a reduction in myostatin levels. A study on young adults and postmenopausal women given some exercise and BCAA supplementation showed no reduction in myostatin levels but a study on patients recovering from hip replacement that were in an eight-week rehabilitation program and they were given amino acids and some vitamin of supplementation had a significant reduction in myostatin levels. A study on creatine using young males were given three doses of seven grams each for five days and they exercised once during that time and they showed 35 percent decrease in myostatin levels while those that were given a placebo showed the same decrease which is weird. This indicates that creatine may not be a contributing factor in reducing myostatin levels. A different study on two groups of healthy males that were given three-tenths of a gram of creatine per kilogram of the body weight in the first week and 50 milligrams of the remaining seven weeks exercised their upper and lower bodies for about no, for a whole eight weeks and while the other group in the study was given a placebo and also exercised for eight weeks found that there was a decrease in myostatin in both groups during the fourth and eighth week but the group taking the creatine supplement had a higher reduction of myostatin. I should mention that if you're taking creatine supplements it's a good idea to have your kidneys checked regularly especially if you get older. As, as you get older because creatine could have a negative impact on your kidney functioning and if you let it go unchecked it could cause permanent damage to your kidneys. Information on myostatin for medical use has shown promise and although more information is still being learned on myostatin some athletes and bodybuilders believe that myostatin inhibitors can enhance their muscle growth and performance by reducing myostatin levels in their body. In closing 
Our exploration of myostatin is an ongoing journey with exciting potential benefits for athletes and bodybuilders and those seeking enhanced muscle growth and performance. I hope you enjoyed my video on myostatin and its effects on bodybuilding. And as we conclude our exploration of myostatin and its impact on our muscles, remember the potential within you is limitless and your dedication to health and fitness can unlock new levels of strength and vitality. So embrace your health and fitness journey, break through barriers, and let your inner power shine. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a great day.